though surely would have been buoyed by their late comeback in midweek. They were two down before snatching a draw. A 93rd mini Damson Park. Daryl Knight cannoned his effort against the post. Amari Sterling James with the cross. That man Brown proving unstoppable in the air. A second for him. Geisley's advantage lasting just three minutes. And it was heartbreak for the away side six minutes from time. Substitute Harry White, the man in the right place. It's now two wins in the last 20 matches for Geisley. Oh, who finally broke the deadlock minutes after the interval as Jamie Osborne rifled home through a crowded box, his second of the campaign. That's it, man. They're all behind the line. Get on with it. decision to make. A penalty kick. We've got four minutes to go here. And White steps up. Besson in goal for Braintree. Just hanging off the crossbar at the moment. Referee blows a whistle. White to take right footed. Low. <laughs> Session of penalty area pinball. And less than 10 minutes after Dawson's red card, Solly Hull were level thanks to Burn again. And a big night at Damson Park is in prospect for the replay. Solihull took advantage just before half time as Brown headed in an Amari Sterling James cross for his fifth goal of the year. Solihull collected a late consolation goal as Aquasi Aquasi Asante bringing the fifth tier side level from the spot. And so the tie had to be decided from 12 yards. Solihull keeper Daniel Lewis, an earlier sub for the injured Nathan Vaughan, denied Tom Eaves. Handing Sterling James the opportunity to win the tie for the National League outfit, which he duly converted. Huge celebrations for the hosts and their new manager. A trip to Luton awaits in round two. home but they took the lead on the half hour mark when a quasi Asante pounced after Rory Watson could only parry Jamie Osborne's strike but after weathering the North Ferriby storm Solihull made the point safe when Asante displayed strength to hold off his marker before an emphatic <laughs> determined to make a big impression and took a surprise lead in just the fifth minute. Connor Franklin with the determined run, Jamie Osborne with the majestic finish. The Moors were in dreamland as they doubled their lead 30 minutes later. Aquasi Asante did well to keep the ball in and as he found Osborne in space, the midfielder was starting to make a name for himself, rifling the ball home from the edge of the area. Luton was...
to strengthen the Solihull attack, having lost to Kwasi Asante and Jamie Osborne in last month's transfer window. A cross from Shepard Murumbedzi was turned in by 19-year-old Charles Cook after only 90 seconds. A dream start at his new club. Jamie Collins was ice cool from 12 yards when he scored the winner against Leeds, but couldn't convert this time as Nathan Baxter got down well to preserve Solihull's lead. Once again on the counter-attack, it's the lively Charles Cook out towards Murumbezi, good save by Warner, falls to Cork, triples over the line. Had to switch players, intercepted by Carlin. He sends it forward. Cook is onside. Athelayer! And that's the third. The blocks and open the scoring after just nine minutes. Harry White curling past Ross Flipney on his debut in goal. Liam McDonald's men found a route back into the match three minutes later when Simeon May headed home his first goal at this level. Having signed for Solihull last month, he showed a glimpse of his potential with the goal of the game. Braintree's lead cut to 3-2 with 10 to go. And the comeback was complete. With four minutes left, the unmarked George Carline couldn't miss. Solihull rescuing a draw from 3-0 down. How crucial could that goal be for both sides come the end of the season?
On loan, Charlton midfielder Regan Charles Cook scored the third that day and he was at it again after only 11 minutes and his 25-yard effort flew past Eastleigh keeper Josh Barnes. Just 10 minutes later, the hosts doubled their lead when Simeon May's header was adjudged to have crossed the line. But those two first-half goals were enough for Solihull to secure their status in the National League.